Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Today, my friends, we're going to put this factory seven and a half joules HDR 68 against this uh, tuned up 30 joules version. Uh, this one was modified by Mr. Troy uh, from Troy's Toys. He is open for business and is happy to modify your gun for you. Uh, I know that at this moment he is he charges about seventy dollars uh, plus shipping, and you can find all the links below. So for our targets today, we'll start with our usual chrono test, to which we'll also add a CO2 consumption test, which I'll explain in a moment. Hard Dominican coconuts, a bonus gigantic coconut, watermelons, a steel oven cooking sheet, and finally our fiberglass mannequins with styrofoam heads. So it's 4th of July tomorrow, and I doubt that many of you will actually watch this video, which is a huge bummer, because I just spent $50 on these devastators. So today, I also want to test the uh, CO2 consumption of each gun. So we'll see how much, how many shots we can get out of the factory uh, seven and a half joules HDR versus how many shots we can get from a canister uh, with a uh, 30 joules modified version, basically without the restrictor. Um, to do so, I am not gonna use the Devastators because as you know, they're very expensive. Um, and I'm just gonna be shooting basically um, at a water jug just to see how many shots we can get. Instead, I am going to use these balls that I've been saving, that I've been picking up from the floor. Uh, basically, uh, just reused them. These are all balls that I've shot in my past videos, so I'm going to recycle them. So I usually shoot uh, the chrono tests in slow-mo, but this time again, uh, since we're going to be shooting uh, several rounds uh, at once, I'm going to film in real time. Ready to shoot. Wow, okay, so this, the factory seven and a half joules uh, version basically shot six magazines, 30 rounds. Um, it started off, as you saw, at around 260, I believe, feet per second. Uh, towards the end, it came down to about 100, 115 uh, feet per second, but it kept on going. I mean, the, the gun would have shot even more had I had more magazines. Um, we would have gotten definitely more shots. It probably would have gone under the 100 feet per second, uh, you know, within a few more shots. But uh, I have to say, uh, I have a funny feeling that our 30 joules version will not be able to shoot uh, as many shots, but let's see. So again, recapping uh, 30 shots 
plus because I, I ran out of magazines uh, 30 shot plus from the seven and a half joules HDR 68 Okay, so our 30 joules version, as we saw, it lost power very quickly. Besides the fact that the chronograph uh, just kept on giving a lot of air messages. But as you see, right towards the last two shots, we were down to 20 feet per second. So we were able to shoot three full magazines. Oops, plus probably I would say half of another magazine. And these were unshot. So. With the seven and a half joules version, we had 30, uh, 30 plus shots. With the uh, modified, no restrictor, we had 15 plus, say about 18. So I would say about half the number of shots. However, let's go check out the power. Now, uh, the seven and a half joules, obviously the balls did penetrate, but nothing came out the other side. Um, well, the 30 joules, look at that. We even had a full penetration so can we say half the endurance double the power and finally the happy moment to shoot our 68 caliber devastators let's load them up All right, so let's weigh these 68 caliber Devastators. Oh, quite heavy. They're right under 10 grams. So yeah, 972. Unfortunately, the fitting is not as tight as one would hope uh, inside the magazine. Um, as you see, if we turn the magazine slowly, nothing comes out, but as soon as we give it a little nut notch, um, they all come out so indeed not too tight however not too loose let's see how powerful they're going to be well here's a fun fact for you guys despite the loose devastators we're still gonna keep on going with our tests um, we're up to our watermelon we'll start with our seven and a half joules well well very uh, minor damage um, no complete penetration let's try the 30 joules Well, guys, as always, I'm going to let you judge. Um, look at that. <laughs> That's a complete scalping, all right. We can actually you reuse one or two of these, maybe. Anyway, that is the difference for you. 
Onto our usual coconuts, seven and a half joules first. Okay, I think we're starting to get an idea of our seven and a half joules. Powerful, but with limitations. Some cracking indeed, but nothing more. 30 joules coming up. So yeah, definitely a bit of extra punch in the 30 joules. Look at that. So I found this coconut yesterday I was, as I was walking my dog in the neighborhood. And I want to try it because if it works well, um, I can use this instead of the Dominican coconuts. Save money, save food. So let's see how it works out. I'm just gonna shoot the 30 joules because uh, we all saw the 7.5 joules, what it, you know, not that effective. So in order to save ammo, I'm just gonna shoot the 30 joules. I really wanna see what happens to this coconut. Hmm, very interesting. I really don't know what to make of this. Look at that. They have completely squeezed in there. Okay, next up is this uh, oven metal sheet. Um, as you saw, I shot it a couple of videos ago with some BBs, but uh, very easily recyclable. Okay, here's our seven and a half joules damage group. Let's uh, mark it so we can then differentiate it with the 30 joules. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, words are just becoming more and more useless images. Once again, speak for themselves. 30 joules, 30 joules versus seven and a half. Look at that. All right, guys, we are finally down to our last target. We have run out of ammo. I'm down to my last two magazines of Devastators. Uh, originally, I was gonna use both mannequins with both heads, um, but I decided to save uh, one of the heads. So we'll just be using this one here. And this time I'm gonna start with the 30 joules and then we'll switch to seven and a half. <laughs> wow. 
Well, well. <laughs> we have indeed disfigured this poor styrofoam mannequin head. Um, projectiles did indeed come across. And I think this is the seven and a half jewels that got stuck in, in the cheek. And it's actually also reusable. All right, and here we are at our final conclusion, guys. Uh, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that we have a seven and a half jewels paintball gun and we have a 30 jewels cannon. Um, obviously, the 30 jewels will consume a lot more. We saw about twice the amount of CO2 compared to the factory uh, seven and a half joules. I also want to specify why do we call it, why do I call it 30 joules? Who gave this number? Well, the number was given actually by Troy, Troy Stories, who did the modification. Uh, so the number 30 in this case is pretty much the average uh, joules, the average, average power in which it shoots with an average uh, weight um, projectile. So you know, it obviously shoots uh, higher power than 30 joules. It also shoots lower power than 30 joules. But 30 joules is, uh, is pretty much the average uh, power of the gun. Thus, uh, the name given. Um, that's it, guys. I think uh, the, Im the images spoke for themselves, as you saw. Uh, I'm very, very happy with uh, my uh, 68, with my HDR 68 uh, modified version. Just uh, amazing. Um, again, all the links of the projectiles, of the gun that I shot. Oh, by the way, we also learned that the Devastators are a bit too small for this gun. So guys, we really need 68 caliber ammo for the HDR 68. I'm talking to all you slug makers out there. Um, you know, we need it and then send it over so we can test it here at Aragon Alley. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking the like button if you did like the video. And thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel uh, if you indeed liked the video. And I'll see you at the next one.